individuals have incriminated themselves harassing protected wildlife. It all starts off on the Santa Maria River in southwestern Brazil, where these fishermen decide it would be a good idea to poke an enormous snake concealed in the overhang with their wooden oar. They continue to prod it for a couple of minutes, and as expected, the distressed reptile swims out in an attempt to escape the abuse. At this point, it becomes quite clear that we're dealing with the huge anaconda here, and its midsection is swollen with something big, probably like a capybara. Having just fed, though, makes moving incredibly difficult and on top of that wastes a ton of energy that is desperately needed for the digestion process. Should this anaconda feel threatened enough, it may even decide to regurgitate its meal and that could prove disastrous for its well-being. But this doesn't really seem to be taken into consideration as the man in the hat ups the ante here by gripping the snake by the tail and towing it back into the middle of the river. This happens not once, but twice, making it pretty difficult to sympathize for the trio when comes sentencing time. Now thankfully, the anaconda was left alone after the second pull, and hopefully remains mostly unaffected from the ordeal, but that doesn't quite excuse the behavior of these people. And the Brazilian environmental authorities felt it was appropriate for each one of them to receive a $600 fine potentially combined with some form of community service. Goes to show they aren't playing around, and I applaud them for this, but I want to know where you stand. How severe of a punishment, if any at all, is deserved? And do you think it helps prevent people from committing these kind of offenses in the future? Once again,